and that encourages and supports vocal recitals and classical song. Before we talk to her, we'll hear countertenor Bajan Mehta, who Miss Horn has been mentoring through her foundation. <laughs>
Adrian Maida, thank you so much for being here. Oh, my pleasure. And thank you for singing for us. Also my pleasure. <laughs> and Marilyn Horn, welcome. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you, and thank you, Bajan. <laughs> the sun and the moon seems to have all aligned for you this year, the, the 10th anniversary of your foundation. Yes. The 50th anniversary of your debut in opera. Right. And your 70th birthday. Yes. You must have seen all of this coming and done the math at some point and said, this is all happening at once. You know, life is interesting. You don't plan anything and suddenly... It all comes like that. Um, I'm, I'm amazed, really, truly. This is, uh, this, this is a foundation with a mission, and I think you yes. pretty much just stated right. it. Right. Um, you, you benefited from, from this foundation. Certainly. Tell, tell me about that. How did you become first familiar, first with Marilyn Horn, before we get to the foundation? Oh. We met in Berlin. We met in Berlin, and she had known of my singing as a boy soprano when I had I'd sung quite a bit and had some recordings out. And, and a recording that's still in the still catalog. Still out, which is kind of amazing. <laughs> but she, um, so she was always interested in what my voice might become at, when it changed as I grew up. And it became a not so tremendously great baritone, and so she's 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 fostered me along for for many years over several two voice changes, <laughs> <laughs> two voice changes. Um, um, let's do talk a little bit uh, about your voice. We we heard you sing earlier, uh, counter tenor voice. Yes. You, it, you started off as a boy soprano. We thought you might sing something else for a mm -hmm. while. We've had a couple of counter tenors here. I mean, the first thing I you know I, I have to ask you is there there you. You probably are not, you probably never get over the fact that people kind of kind of go, what is that? And they're a little surprised by the voice when it comes out. It's a little uh, less uh, now. A little it's, it's, it, but it's a remarkable uh, to go around the world and sing concerts because you really know where the country or the city is in its development in, in terms of understanding what countertenors do by what the audience does when the first sounds come out of your mouth. You can see it. Oh, too, yeah. Right? So in certain <laughs> cities, you know, nothing happens. It's just, you know, a normal concert. It's a countertenor. In other, in other cities, what do you, get? you sing the first note and, and you see a lot of heads go like that, <laughs> you know, or you see then, then programs are going around because they have a substitution. I didn't know. Where's the woman? Where's, you know, so it, it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of fun, but you know, it's, it is changing. And I have to say, it's one of the great things about being a countertenor, particularly right now, to know that one's career uh, has a purpose larger than just one's own life, but is part of uh, the reestablishment in, of a certain uh, type of opera, for example, Handelian opera in major opera houses, which would have been unheard of to the extent that it's performed now just 10 years ago. Or the uh, reestablishment of this kind of singing 
in the popular acceptance of classical music, it's, it's a tremendously exciting time to be singing like this. And I feel very fortunate to be doing it now. Uh -huh. We've got just a few more minutes left, and I want to hit one more anniversary. There's so many of yours. The 50th anniversary of the film Carmen Jones. Right. <laughs> now, when people watch this movie, they see Dorothy Dandridge, right. but they hear Marilyn, Marilyn Horn. Horn. Right. I did that when I was 20 years old. I, 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 I marvel at that myself when I think, I just, you know, at 20, I did that very big deal, which I didn't think was a big deal. And, but it has stuck with me all of these years. And, of course, it's a classic film now. And the Film Forum in New York is going to present a new restored print of Carmen Jones on February the 3rd. And I'm going to be there. I'm going to do a live interview and autograph my new book that is coming out called The Song Continues. And probably we'll be autographing some of the new, new CDs that are just out on Universal called, what is it called? The Golden Voice, just for the record, the just Golden the Voice, record. Marilyn Horn, right. available in record stores everywhere. Right, so um, we, we've got a lot to celebrate, and I have a wonderful life to celebrate. It's just been great, and I have two grandchildren that I adore, and an, another one coming, and, you know, I just have to count my blessings. Well, congratulations to all the celebrations and this year. And I want to see everybody on February the 1st at Carnegie Hall. Well, we'll give a couple. We have master classes and mini recitals leading up to it starting on the 28th with Deborah Voigt and Tom Hansen. And We're going to give a couple of website addresses so people can get all the information they Thank need you. on all the concerts and master and keep them classes. on long enough to read, yeah, yeah, long, enough will. To go, long enough to grab a pencil. <laughs> we will, I promise. <laughs> that's, that's my problem. Right, I this? see a phone number. Where's the pencil? <laughs> all right, get the pencil now. <laughs> The website is coming. Thank you. Page and Maida. <laughs> Marilyn Horn, thank you so much for Thanks. coming back. Thanks. Great to see you, Elliot. <laughs> All the festivities surrounding Marilyn Horn's 70th birthday and the 10th anniversary of the Marilyn Horn Foundation will be at Carnegie Hall starting on January 28th and culminating with the gala on February 1st. For more information, go to carnegiehall.org. For more information about the Marilyn Horn Foundation, go to marilynhornfdn. Org. Marilyn's two CD set, Just for the Record, The Golden Voice, and her autobiography, The Song Continues, are in stores now.